We're back for Game of Thrones. I'm Love Fight. I'm Jinxie. And this is and episode seven of season three. Yes. We're making good progress on yes. this. Already episode seven. I mean, I know it's a little slow on your guys' end, but <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So in the last episode, John climbed the wall. Yeah, and they almost With didn't regret. make it. And they made a pact not to betray each other. Yes. And, and everybody else couldn't like screw Yeah, everybody else can basically. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Baelish left at the very mm-hmm. end. Which I'm cool with. But oh, <sighs> Sansa was disappointed because now she has to, she found out she has to marry Tyrion and she doesn't get to marry Loras. Right. I'm still upset we didn't get to see their reaction. Yeah. Still upset. Um, Shay had to overhear that too. Right. I do not know how Shay feels because they didn't show it all. She didn't seem very upset like Sansa was. So mm, I think she's she wouldn't show that in front of Sansa though. That's but true. the minute she is alone with Tyrion. She'd be like, what the hell's going on? Yep. Why didn't you tell me first? Uh, and then for poor Roz. Yes, Roz was oh killed God. by Joffrey. Because Baelish so found out that she was spying for Varys. I'm ugh, I'm so upset I'm about so it. Pissed. Like, because I liked her and I thought I that she was really going somewhere. Mm-hmm. And I want, like, I was all for another, like, powerful, like, female sneaky character. Mm-hmm. Like, I know we've got, like, Daenerys, and I love her, and she's awesome. But I would have been down for, like, another one of, a, of like, a spy version yeah, of her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, agreed. Um, speaking of Daenerys, I don't think we even saw her. A legitimate son. Shahan? No. The other one. Gendry! Yeah, Gendry. He was with... taken. He was taken by the Red Woman. Oh, yeah. Red Wish? Red Woman? Red Woman. Red... I don't remember. I feel like someone in the comments called her the Red Woman. Or maybe they called her the Red Woman. Whatever. I think she's called the Red Woman. Is she? Yes. yes. Okay. I know some people call her witch, so I don't know. I'm confusing myself. Either way. Because <laughs> it depends on if you like her She's still or not. Gendry. And she said Arya right. was going to kill people. Yeah. And we oh, were yeah. for that. Yeah. That was a fun premonition. Mm-hmm. She's like, oh, man. And then Rob is doing stuff, making his uncle marry a fray. And that's... They didn't... Gotta see how that will go. Yeah. So they haven't even... Like, we haven't even seen her yet or anything. Just yeah. that they had talks with a fray and, like, he's supposed to marry her. And... I think that... Um, it's most it? things. And if not, we'll find out shortly. Yeah. So. Play. Love each other when it suits them, and they kill each other when it suits them. She knows it. You don't. Which is why you'll never hold on to her. I'm like, are you jealous or just trying to piss him off? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about this guy. It was a king he wanted. Edmure is the best match of Freya's had in the history of their house. We should all get some sleep. I mean, at least the other guy hasn't run away. Yeah. So she, uh, I don't know how she feels about this marriage because mm-hmm. she seems a bit hostile. Well, I also think like but... politically, she's very hostile about it because, yeah. like, it just screws up everything else. Mm-hmm. I know she'd love to meet you and her grandchild. Oh, my God, she's telling you she's pregnant. Mm-hmm. What now? <laughs> <laughs> Are you angry with me? <sighs> You're my queen. Sounds good for your troops. I mean, the timing's not the greatest, to be honest. Term, but yes. yeah. But having an heir already, like, oh yeah, that is happening. That's what I mean. It's a good morale booster. Yeah. Your cock shouldn't go near it. Is slick as a baby seal. <laughs> and then you go inside, but slowly. Don't jam it in like you're sparing a pig. <laughs> Everybody Come can on. hear him. <laughs> Weird, I don't think they're sensitive to it. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least he seems to be nice about it. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like in a weird, his own way, I guess. You're jealous. Oh. Of course I'm jealous. You should be with one of your own. Um, oh. And you're one of my own. I've never heard a cam word from your mouth. You would, if you were mine. It's a little late for that, dude. I know, right? I tell you that you're beautiful. Fierce. Wild. I guess you never expected somebody else to show up. My son will be king. Sons learn from their mothers. I plan to teach mine a great deal. <laughs> and your son, if I'm not mistaken, your son might be the lord of Casterly Rock. And the North someday. You gotta look on the bright side. Her brother would have to die for that to happen. Mm. Which she definitely wouldn't want. Tyrion may surprise you. From what I've heard, he's quite experienced. <laughs> and 
That's the. I mean, you know, I like that she's trying to I agree. help she... make her look on the bright side. Did you know mm -hmm. pleasing us takes practice? How do you know all this? Did your mother teach you? <laughs> yes, sweet girl. My mother. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, I'll let you think that. <laughs> I like her outfit today. It's really cute. Marjorie's? Mm hmm. Shay isn't going to like it. Shay is a whore. Are you going to marry her? Eh? I think How if he could, he would marry her. For you the first time. Oh. You'll have two women and a whole kingdom of your own. Two women to despise me and a whole <laughs> kingdom to join me. I mean, like, at least they're friends? Yeah. Well, the Tower of the Hand is where I work. To walk from there to here would take time. Time I could otherwise spend productively. So if I wanted to attend a council meeting, I would now have to climb all the stairs in the Tower of the Hand. Oh, I I like mm -hmm. this face off because trying to show dominance against your grandfather. He already said he was going to take Joffrey in hand a bit, you know, compared to Cersei. But I haven't been counselled. You are being counselled at this very <laughs> moment. I should be consulted about such things. From now on, I will see to it that you are appropriately consulted on important matters, whenever necessary. Dude, you, with your grandpa there, you're just a puppet king. He's basically mm -hmm. gonna be running everything. Like, enjoy your title, flaunt it, whatever, but you're not gonna have a real say yeah. in how the kingdoms ran because you're not responsible enough. We don't need Yunkai, Khaleesi. Taking this city will not bring you any closer to Westeros or the Iron mm -hmm. Throne. How many slaves are there in Yunkai? 200,000, if not more. Oh, it's a slave city. Mm. And we have 200,000 reasons to take the city. I like that she has a purpose mm -hmm. in, t you know what I mean? Like in her war, mm -hmm. to stop slavery. Like it's not just like gather up my stuff so I can go to Westeros. It's like right. eliminate slavery here. On the way. Yeah. Like, she can't ignore it as she goes. It must be unnerving for him because all these people are free. Now comes the noble Razdal no Eras of that ancient and honorable house. Ooh, look at the men and speaker to savages to offer terms of peace. <laughs> <laughs> Daenerys Stormborn of House Targaryen, Queen of the Andals and the First Men, Khaleesi of the Great Grass Sea, Breaker of Chains and Mother of Dragons. Good title. Mm -hmm. There is far more than this awaiting you on the deck of your ship. My ship? Yes, Khaleesi. As I said, we are a generous people. Oh, they just want her to go away. Well, they know even if they win, it would still take a major toll on them. Perhaps we'll make a slave of you as well. Good luck with that. The thing is, if there's over 200,000 slaves in there, if she manages mm -hmm. to get them freed, then that's... I'm sure some of them will join her army and stuff. Of course. Golden chains. <laughs> you could buy a ship with these. Do I need a ship? Am no, I I'm... going somewhere? Of course you're not going <laughs> anywhere. So, am I invited to your wedding? <laughs> this is what I'm here for. You'll always be my lady. I'm your whore. And when you are tired of fucking me, I will be nothing. I think, like, the only mm. possible way of conducting this it would be to tell Sansa the truth. Yeah. And seeing if she would go along with it. You're saying... My father, he was some lord or... There. <laughs> Your father's house. It's like, what? <laughs> the bastard of Robert of the house Baratheon. First of his name, king of the Andals and the first man. Why do you think the gold cloaks wanted you? I just don't like that she's tricking him. Mm-hmm. You know what's so funny is I feel like use for you. if this story was presented a different way, like if it was filmed from her point of view, then we would like her and be like, yeah, she's like conquering everything. <laughs> but since it's not, she's a villain. Yeah. I swear to you, this isn't any- I don't care what you swear, because you're a liar. You lie to Gendry, you lie to me. You lie to anyone. I hope the Lannisters kill you all. One day you'll understand. But now- mm -hmm. She wants to go back, man. Right. I mean, go home. She's like, I've escaped before, I can do it again. Yeah. This is my third time escaping places. <laughs> Getting good practice at it now. Oh, damn it. Oh. Kick all you like, wolf girl. Won't do you I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, I don't think he'll hurt her. 
He's not working with Fiddle Lannisters anymore. He doesn't have any reason to. Maybe he just wants to use her as a bargaining chip to get somewhere safe. That's what I'd think. When Catelyn Stark released you, we both made a promise to her. Now it's your promise. You gave your word. Keep it and consider the debt paid. I will return the Stark ghost to the mother. Good. But there's only one. Which I, I mean, I hope he does. I mean, if he can get Sansa out, then that would be really good. I'm just like, I don't even care anymore. Because I'd Mm -hmm. rather they just kill him at this point. Yeah. It's just excessive. It's like, they're only taking care of you so you live longer to torture you longer. Oh, he's been through so much. Look at his poor face. Help me. This whole thing just makes me uncomfortable. I know, me too. Just grab something and kill them and go, Theon. (laughs) Right. I mean, maybe he can't walk, though, because his feet are so damaged. I don't think he could walk, to be honest. Just roll away, Theon. I'm not killing you. Just making a few alterations. Is this really needed? I don't know. I honestly, I I just, this whole, like, this entire season is just, like, worse and worse, like, for Theon, and it's just... It's fine. It's fine. I know. It's just... I don't even want, I don't want to watch it at all. Mm Mm-hmm. Is that a palace? <laughs> it's a windmill. <laughs> windmill. Yeah, I guess if they don't have any structures, then. Winterfell has towers three times that size. Mm. Oh, I'm Jon Snow and I'm from Winterfell. My daddy was a fancy <laughs> lord and I lived in a tower that touched the clouds. <laughs> <gasps> oh, a spider! Save me, Jon Snow. <laughs> My dress is made of the purest silk from Tralalalali Day. <laughs> I'd like to see you in a silk dress. Would you? So I could tear it off you. Well, you rip from a pretty silk dress. I'll blacken your eye. <laughs> right? She's like, it would be the nicest thing I own, sir. <laughs> I would love for her to see Winterfell. Mm-hmm. I mean, right now it's all burnt out. Right. And crap, so. Mance is different. You don't have the discipline. You don't have the training. Your army is no army. You don't know how to fight together. You don't know that. I do. I know it. If you attack the wall, you'll die. All of you. Mm-hmm. Just worried. Mm-hmm. All of us. They might have a chance of beating the wall this time. Oh yeah, the wall, so, but, but like not past. Like they're not gonna like keep mm-hmm. going. Yeah, basically. All these bad things happen because the gods got big plans for you. I wish it were true, little lord, but the gods wouldn't spare Raven's cold shit for you or me or anyone. You don't understand. You don't know. You don't know. None of you know. None of you've been up there. I mean, she escaped from the past the wall for Which a reason. Is rare. I knew he'd come back, and he did. He came in through the back of the hut. Only it wasn't Bruni, not really. Mm-hmm. His white skin was yeah. mm-hmm. pale. I know a white. The White Walkers are the yeah. commanders. And how many lives have you saved? Half a million. Population of King's Landing. Mm-hmm. From the burning. Mm-hmm. He's convinced Lord Tarth owns all the sapphire mines in Westeros. Oh, no. Oh. He feels he's being cheated. Oh, God damn it. Fools to kill her. These men have been at war a long time. Most of them will be dead by winter. She'll be their entertainment tonight. You gotta go save mm-hmm. her, Jamie. Beyond tonight? I don't think they care very much. She's your only friend. Right. Any appreciation, you your father. You think you're getting a reward. Let me explain something to you. When my father sees me, the first thing he's going to ask is, what happened to my hat? And I'm going to tell him, this man chopped it off. I am going to tell him, this man saved my life. <laughs> we return to Harrenhal. Now. That's why everybody's afraid of his dad. As they <laughs> should be, I mean, to be honest. He's always like, my dad, my dad, my dad. Because it's the truth. It's the best bargaining chip he's got. It's the only reason he's not dead. That's true. So. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I'm having her, like, in a fight or something. Oh my god! Against a bear, Jesus. With a wooden sword. Where is he? 
this one shameful fucking performance. Stop running and Dude. fight! Toss him in. Oh. Oh! Mm -hmm. Just give her a real sword, man. Oh, oh. damn. Did you even know you bring a sword with you? Pulling off one of the dudes out there! I mean, they can't let him die. Yeah. That's the thing. If they let him die and it gets out, they'll be in so much trouble. Mm hmm Yep. Oh. Go, 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 go. The only problem is he only has one, like, actual hand, yeah. so he can't, like... And it's his off hand, too, from where yeah. he plays. At least Brienne's really strong, so... Right. The bitch stays. Just punch him. I know. Toss him over to the bear. Because he's honestly annoying me so much. What do you think is more important to Lord Bolton? Getting his pet rat a reward or ensuring time and Nannis to get his son back alive? Yeah, Lord Bolton seems pretty savvy in terms politically. Yeah, he's so. playing both sides. He's like making sure whatever side wins, I'm not going to be screwed completely. Mm -hmm. Poor bear. I know. All right. That was episode the seven or eight. Bear and the Maiden Fair, I think it was called. Yeah. Interesting episode. We didn't see much action. Mm -hmm. Um. I mean, there was, yeah, I guess it's, I think it's all, again, we're getting near, like, the season finale bit, so it's mm -hmm. all prep. So Anya's um, been taken by, or Anya. <laughs> Arya's, now. Arya's been taken by the Hound, which yeah. I have, I don't think he's gonna hurt her. He has no valid reason to. Yeah, but I still don't know. Um, and he's never been real, his logic is not incomprehensible, like Joffrey's or yeah. something. Like, he does stuff for reasons. He's not cruel to people who aren't cruel. Yeah. And plus he has a so. fondness for Sansa, so... Mm -hmm. I think the part that I'm most interested in, though, is, like, the whole Daenerys thing and how that's mm. going to turn out with the city. Like, what are they going to do? Yeah. Like I said, I absolutely love that she has a purpose besides let's get as much stuff as we can mm. as we make our way through this mm -hmm. level into Westeros. Like, <laughs> yeah. she really wants to get rid of slavery. She has her own morals. Mm -hmm. And and I think that, like, she thinks very, like, big picture. Like, it's not just that one focus conquest because the thing is like she could possibly take over king's landing but also even though i don't think she's thinking about it in like the political sense but like building up this army of like freed people which will make them like way more loyal to you than any other like just free mm -hmm. person popping in would means that i feel like it would like build up her kingdom to last longer because she'll mm -hmm. have a stronger following mm -hmm. even though i know she doesn't think about it that way yeah so. um i mean we didn't see the dragons have grown a bit but yeah, we didn't see much, we still didn't see much of Daenerys in this episode. Just mm -hmm. though she's on the outside of Yunkai, which is another slave city. Mm -hmm. um, she's think, slowly gathering up slaves. I think that's obviously, like, the season finale bit for her. It would mm -hmm. be taking over that city, getting the ships, and then heading out. Yeah. Or not taking over the city, but I feel like we're on the upward swing of things, so mm -hmm. I don't think that would happen. Um, and then I, th I found the conversation between Tywin and Joffrey pretty interesting because mm -hmm. I think this is the first time we're seeing them start to butt heads. That balance And power. so, like, he's obviously been speaking with Tyrion and Cersei, and Cersei's like, you try and control him. He's like, I will. You know, so, and now here, where he moved this, the small council meeting seems like not such a big deal. It's like, so he doesn't have to walk down the stairs, mm -hmm. but then it means it takes way longer for the king to get there mm -hmm. when you really you should be catering to the king. But he's mm -hmm. basically like, I'm not going to cater to you. Right. You have to cater to me, because I'm your grandfather, and I'm way more powerful than you, even well, though you're king. Even without the grandfather part of it, it's mm -hmm. simply that, like, politically, I'm much more valuable than you. You could yeah. die, and it wouldn't make a difference. Yeah. I, I mean, I guess it would make... No, because there's still the younger son, so it wouldn't make a difference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think, like... I'm really... I mean, he wants... I think Tywin is happy to have his line on the throne, but he realizes, or he recognizes that Joffrey is incompetent yeah. and would not be able to hold the throne without him. And I feel mm -hmm. like he feels the same way about all his children, pretty much. Like, he he yeah, realizes he how <laughs> that they, without him, they wouldn't be able to hold the throne. Yeah. Much. I'm really curious to see, like, I do wonder, is Jamie actually going to get to King's Landing this season? Because it's been, like, seasons upon seasons now that he hasn't. So, like, what is that meeting with Cersei is going to be like. Yeah. Like, are we going to get to see that this season or the start of next season? Like, so I'm really curious Yeah, to there's a see lot going on this season, but honestly, things are happening really slowly. Like, 
And because there's so many things happening. Yeah. So, I mean, I appreciate it, but it does feel like it takes quite a long time for things to happen. Mm-hmm. I mean, it does anyway, because they have to travel long distances and mm-hmm. they like, communicate through letters, you know, like yeah. it all that stuff. But it feels slow to me, though. And I mean, granted, this season is a little bit longer. The season's yeah. like 10 episodes versus like the eight of the previous ones. Yeah. So I mean, I it doesn't it. feel it slow feel to me slow. either. I just mean that like for things to happen, mm-hmm. it happens slowly because there's only a small bit in each episode for each yeah. storyline or whatever. I like it, though. Um, I like the so build. Jon um, Snow and Egret. I really felt like he, like, she was being about, a bit defensive about it. I mean, about, like, him saying, you're gonna lose. Me too. But I, f- oh, yeah. But I feel like he was honestly just trying to tell her, hey, you guys are going to lose. Like, mm-hmm. like you need to take this warning seriously. Because mm-hmm. um, you are underestimating, like, what they see. I mean, I guess Mance was originally from the Night's Watch, so he would be aware of what it was like mm-hmm. in the North not Beyond the Wall. Yeah. But for the rest of them, the only other people from Beyond the Wall they encounter is the Night's Watch, which are so, um, um, so not what they small, used to be. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're like... It's a small, like, it's a, like a, uh... A small sample of what, yes. what the rest of Westeros is like. So, they kind of look down on them mm-hmm. a bit. And but honestly, there's like whole armies oh. in, in the South, you know, like, and the, that are trained to fight compared the f- to the wildlings. So... You know, when he was saying that you don't have the discipline or whatever, yeah. like, it's true. And on top of that, it's, like, they're fighting in, like, a terrain they're not familiar with, too. Like, it's mm-hmm. not the snow and stuff. Like, once you yeah. get far enough. Well, also, um, like, the advanced and weaponry. Walls. They wouldn't ne- have as much advanced weaponry as well, they would, like, the advanced smithing abilities that they have in the south compared well, to above the wall. Considering that she doesn't even, like, recognize a windmill or even, like, mm-hmm. as a tower. Like, literally, she thought it was, like, a castle. Yeah. So... Like, and how like, are you going to get through a normal, like, How would you keep? take those? Yeah. <laughs> if you aren't even familiar with, like, one little tower. Yeah. So, I felt like he was being, like, actually legitimately, like, not just, just trying to be, like, a jerk. He was, like, literally, yeah. like... I don't think anybody thought he was anywhere. just being a jerk. No, but, um, she, I mean, she was being defensive about it because she I felt mean, like he was being, uh, like, a... Um, Outsider. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> wow, you guys, I can't talk today, so... But, no, yeah, of course. But the thing is, like, of course you would be defensive. Like, you're literally going there to fight a war, yeah. and then this person who's yeah. in the, the war with you is saying, we're not gonna win. Well, obviously mm-hmm. you're gonna be like, yes, we are. I mean, because especially you do have to go into war with that mindset, otherwise, like, yeah. the odds of you losing are higher. Well, I do think they could so. take the wall, because if they can yeah. manage to open even one gate, then the rest of... The, there's a lot of wildlings on the other side, mm-hmm. and the wildlings could come through. And there yeah. are a lot of wildlings, but, like, they would decimate themselves trying to win. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, like, so, yeah, they could possibly take the wall. I just don't think they could take beyond the wall. But yeah. I don't know if that's their goal. Like, I don't know how far beyond they want to go. Yeah. But then the thing is, like, would they be... It's the idea of, would they be able to keep it, but at the same time, the rest of the country is already at war, so mm-hmm. do they even have the guards to spare to take them away if they yeah. do end up taking the wall? Like, and do they recognize, like, would they, like... Would they care I feel about like they wouldn't just threat? leave the wall either because that is their first line of defense against the White Walkers. Yeah, but which nobody... is what they're trying to run from. No, I mean like I think that some wildlings would stay to man the wall. Do you know what I mean? Like if they did to continue on trying oh, to take the rest of the country. Wildlings. Sorry, I thought you were talking about the north and south. Oh for a no, 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 sorry. Like, I no, just I meant just the wildlings. Like the wildlings, I think recognize that the wall the is their first line of defense. Well, that's the whole reason so, they want to be on the other side of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I know. So I think that they would man the wall. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. They wouldn't just, like, leave it and keep running south. Mm-hmm. Um, because, you mm-hmm. know, then the wall could fall much easier and stuff. So yeah. it's Yeah, I don't know how much land they want to conquer. Um, and, like, is... And then, he, John talking about Winterfell. Is anybody even in Winterfell? Like, we know it got burnt, mm-hmm. and there's nobody left. Well, but, like, sure there's got to be, back. like, s- small folk and stuff who are there. I'm sure people came you know? back. There's just, just no it. noble nobles th- yeah. there, so. Mm-hmm. Or, or was it so dis- destroyed that there's nothing left? Well, you know what no, I mean? I mean, we all, no, we do know that people are there because didn't um, Rob send people? Oh, I don't remember. Yeah, and they missed them. I, I don't remember. So I, I imagine remember, Rob so. would have sent people back by yeah, now. Yeah, that's true. He's aware of what happened, so. Um, Rob, speaking of Rob, I'm glad that they're having a baby because, okay, mm-hmm. so, like, they're actually really cute together, but... There's something about their scenes that just seems kind of ominous, like, just the way that it's mm-hmm. filmed or whatever, but that could just be because they're trying to represent, like, they're in a, they're in the middle, midst of a war, and, yeah. like, like, they're, it's kind of, like, depressing that, like, she's pregnant in the midst of a war, and it's yeah. super dangerous. And there's, and, like, really, I feel like their scenes aren't as, like, necessarily, like, 
glamorous. I know it sounds mm-hmm. weird to say, but there's it's less intense. It's more of just literally in like the drudges of war. Yeah. Because they're not to the point where they're going to be conquering one particular place. Like the other ones are building and building up to that. Yeah. They're, he is literally maintaining the war. So it's a yeah. lot more like. The flat, disappointing thing of. is that we don't actually get to see like any other battles and stuff. So it feels a lot like mm-hmm. all his scenes are them sitting in a room talking about the war. All strategy. You know what strategy. I mean? So like, because he can't, go which is fine. <laughs> but I wish that we'd seen a few more. Yeah. You know, like I don't know. I just wish that we'd see a bit more of their. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, their lives. he's not as expendable as the others. <laughs> yeah. Um, um. And then, oh, Shay and Tyrion. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm sad that Shay's upset about it, but understand why she would be upset. Mm-hmm. But now though, with um. Jamie coming back, maybe they won't have to get yeah. married. Well, like the thing is, I don't think Jamie has that much pull, but you I know. feel like none of them expected Tyrion to get married anytime Ever. soon. Yeah. Like he didn't want to get married. He's already been married. So. They there was no there's no discussion at any point of like him getting married or mm-hmm. anything like that. So for Shay, it's kind of like she's been blindsided of it. I well, feel yeah, because like. it also didn't seem like it was a political power move to marry him off either. You know, yeah, it didn't seem advantageous to anybody. Yeah, because Tywin doesn't want to give him Casterly Rock. Exactly. So, like, you know. Yeah, so there was really no need for it, but nope, here it is. And especially because it it's almost worse being married to Sansa, who, like, is her friend, mm-hmm. but also her, she's her servant, so, mm-hmm. like, it makes it even worse. Yeah. Than if it was just some other noble lady that she had no relationship with. That's true. And like she said, it was, like, it puts her in this super awkward position of, like, if, if they ha- do have kids or something, mm-hmm. like, then Tywin will kill them. You know what I mean? Like Yeah, she has to be a complete secret. Yeah. That's not really the life that she wants. Like, I mean, I think, especially because it doesn't seem... She's not, like, a poor-born lady. She ran from something. She could have already had, like, a proper life of, like, an, a, like a not-secret Yeah. Well, life. she wouldn't have to be a servant if they left... They went across the Narrow Sea, like she said. Yeah. Like, they could go live... Like, Tyrion probably has enough money that they could just go live exactly. off somewhere and have a happy normal. life. They just wouldn't be, like... You know, Mm -hmm. the. I mean, but I do also get from from like Tyrion's point of view because like I don't I don't know how a dwarf is treated if he doesn't have the political backing. Yeah, like you said, what would I do? Juggle? Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, Like, he wouldn't be able to get a job anywhere. He wouldn't have any respect anywhere because they would just see him. Yeah, and that would be it. Yeah. So. And well, then, there's also the factor of, like, remember how much he enjoys the politics. Yeah. And he does have, him personally, has a pretty good life at King's Landing. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not anywhere worse than anywhere else. Like, he has, mm-hmm. he used to be Canned of the King. He's got, like, servants there. And, like, right. he can pay Bronn and, like, all this stuff. So for him, it's not so bad. But for her, it's like she's putting herself as a servant for him. Because mm-hmm. she technically doesn't have to be if they, like, leave. Exactly. So. <sighs> it all is just sucks. It's sad mm, for them. What else? Osha and Bran. Mm-hmm. I want him to go to Castle Black. I know that the whole Raven thing, he probably should follow his, like, mystical destiny and, like, go look for but, the I Raven. Mean, you can go to but, Castle Black and then... But the thing, like, going to the Raven, does that mean going to the... Uh, well, the Raven's in the wild. north, they said, so... Yeah, but it's... I mean, so, be on the wall. Yeah, but I wonder, like... Is the raven, do they mean, like, literally there's, like, a magical raven out there? Or do they mean meeting up with the other guy who can, like, see through, like, the the, the wilding, who can, like, see oh, through the animals' other, eyes? He's not, no. No, they mentioned that there's several wargs. I feel oh, like yeah, the raven okay. is, like, maybe a special mm. something. And, like, I understand Osha not wanting to go, too. She escaped for a reason, and, like, she knows how dangerous she, it is, and she sees that these are her. kids who want to go there, and she's like... Um, you guys know well, nothing about Beyond the Wall. Well, it's not just kids. It's, like, so you have Hordor, who is supposed to be, like... Hodor. Hodor, who's supposed to be, like, your protection. Mm-hmm. And then, like, yeah, the other girl can, like, you know, shoot a bow, but then one kid can't walk, and then the other one's really young. And, and has seizures. Yeah, like... And, um, she doesn't even... Even the other girl who can fight, she doesn't seem that old. She seems no. pretty young to me. And she I mean, she doesn't seem that... Like, she's obviously just... I feel like she's will go wherever her brother goes, but I don't think she necessarily wants to take him into danger either. Yeah, I feel like Osha sees him as incredibly naive and that this is a dangerous move. And, I I mean, so I think it totally makes sense that she's thinking it would be smarter to go to Castle Black. Mm-hmm. Um, Which it would be. Go to Castle yeah. Black and then go across the wall if you have to. Yeah, like, then well, the thing is what they let them cross. Yeah. But um, I understand also them him feeling like he can't walk 
Mm-hmm. This is, like, some kind of purpose that he has now with this yeah. mystical raven. Literally like, magical destiny. Yeah. And the other kid can also see dreams, so he feels a connection to him. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, has can see the... Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. Yeah. Also has magical powers. So, mm-hmm. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I think the general consensus of this long explanation of everything is I'm intrigued to see yes. what happened next. I feel like this is what yes. I have to say every season when we reach this point of having only a couple mm-hmm. episodes left is like, it, they're really good at the buildup of things and then I just need to see the follow through, which will yeah. also hopefully be good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We'll find out, you know? Yes. So. <laughs> okay, guys. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Put your comments below. And we will see you all next time. Bye. Bye. Oh my god, why is the camera so far over instead of directly in front of us? You're the one who did it.